In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an existing image file that you can use in Onshape uh, so that you could sketch over uh, an existing image. So for this particular project, a friend of mine has asked me to create a cookie cutter. And that cookie cutter needs to be based off of this police badge. So there's a couple different ways that I could approach this. First of all, I can do this without um, like an image underlay and, and not try to trace over it and, and try to recreate it piece by piece, which would be a little time consuming, but it could be done. But since we have a, a, a very good reference image to work with, uh, why not use this image to trace over? So right now I am using two computers to monitor screens. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my police badge image, I'm gonna drag it over to my other screen. Um, but even though we're gonna pull this into Onshape, I still like to have the original reference in front of me just in case my sketch lines uh, start making the, the picture a little muddy. So just in case you do not have uh, two computer screens, there is a way that you could pull in external references into Onshape, which is pretty handy. So let me show you that first. So to do that on the bottom left screen of your screen, you're gonna see this insert new element button. Go ahead and click on that. And then click on import. And then I'm already uh, pre-selected to the, the file location where the badge is, and it's a JPEG file. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open that. And you'll see I have another tab here in the bottom that says badge.jpg, that, that's my file name. So if I click on that, it's the same picture that I have on my other screen. And I can keep on toggling back to this as a reference as needed. But I can't sketch anything on here. This is simply just uh, like another way of viewing the image. So we need to get this into our part studio so we can actually start uh, sketching over it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my part studio, uh, check my workspace units, make sure they are in inches, they are. And I'm gonna create a new sketch. And I'm gonna go on my top plane for this one. And I'm gonna hit N on my keyboard to go normal to my plane. And I'll open our toolbar up here. You have this default says to insert a DXF or a DWG. But if you pull down on the fly out here, you can insert an image. So I'm gonna click on insert image. And I've already done this once, so I'll do it. But if not, you can go to import and it just pulls up your, uh, your um, Windows Explorer. Go select on the image I wanna import. It went ahead and imported it. And so now it's gonna ask select imported image. So I'm gonna pick on this one since so I selected two inadvertently. And I'm gonna start on my origin because I have a prompt up here that says draw image rectangle. So I'm gonna start on my origin and I'm gonna left click. And I'm gonna drag to the right. And there we have our image inserted. Now, since I don't know what scale this came in or, or you know how large this is in, in the on shape space, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dimension this because I know that my, my width by height because um, it's labeled here. So I'm just gonna take my dimension tool and I'm gonna dimension this, make this 2.375 and it's scaled down. So now I can simply uh, you know, use, use my sketching methods and sketch over the top of my badge and then create my part as needed.